Hey, I'm Nick Dietz. And I'm Chenda Knack. Welcome to Nick and Knack, where we take the latest tech to task. You've heard of smartphones, watches, and TVs, but one startup is working on something called a smart wheel. It's a gadget that adds brains and brawn to your bike. Fly Clive founder Nico Klanschek gave us a hands-on demo. Okay, Nico, tell me how the smart wheel works. Okay, so the smart wheel is all-in-one design, pedal assist. So what that means is that once you start pedaling, it will help you pedal, so you ride the bicycle effortlessly. And the all-in-one design means that it has the motor, the battery, and all the electronics inside the rear wheel. So there's no cables on anything. So how long does the charge last? It has 30 miles range, and you can charge it by just plugging it into a wall or going downhill, it will recharge the battery. And how long does it take to get to a full charge? Uh, with a full charge, it actually takes around two to three hours. So a Flyclight app, first we have a screen is right where you can set the top speed. So you just go like this right here and you say, okay, I want to go 20 miles per hour. And when you park it and you want to uh, just walk away, you go this way and you lock the wheel so nobody can steal it. And in case somebody actually picks it up or it does able to steal it, it will ring on your phone and tell you your bike is moving without you. You click on it and you will hear and you will go to map and you actually track it because it has a GPS in there. All right, let's see how this thing pedals. So whenever you start pedaling, the motor turns on. So it looks like this. <laughs> and whenever you want to stop, the motor wow. also tur turns off. And then if you want to completely stop, you just brake your brakes. That's it. <laughs> That's great. That's works. Let's get this baby cooking on the bike path. What do you say? So now this turns any bike into a single speed bike, but who needs extra gears when you've got a motor? What's great is as I get going, normally I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, but this is just like, hey, take it easy, man. I got you. I'm just going to pedal for you, basically. So let's kick it up a little faster and try not to kill anyone. <laughs> This bike looks like so comfortable, but it's just it's hauling. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's so easy! Okay, and as soon as you stop pedaling, I feel the motor kick off. And you can feel the drag. It's a nice day for a bike ride, huh? All right, Nick, what'd you think? I thought it was fantastic. I had so much fun. As someone who commutes to work on a bike myself, this would make my commute and my life so much easier. But you have to remember, it adds nine pounds to the bike, so if you're like me and you have to carry it up three flights of stairs, it might be a little cumbersome, but it's a trade-off I'm definitely willing to make. I can't wait to get one. What'd you think? Well, I thought the technology was really smart and intuitive. That said, there are still a few wrinkles to iron out. It's still in prototype phase, but the company's off to a great start. Selling for up to 700 bucks on Kickstarter, they met their $100,000 goal in about a day. And they say they're ready to ship this thing by next spring. Cool. Well, that's it for Nick and Nack. Thanks for watching.